Hello everyone, and welcome to Half-Life Alex. We're finally returning to the Half-Life series, and I'm so excited. I've been waiting such a long time uh, to do this, and I know you all have as well. So uh, for those of you that have been waiting for me to get around to this one, it's been very highly recommended, and I'm in virtual reality, baby. We're doing it. So Half-Life Alex, I'm super excited to be here. After playing through uh, the first Half-Life games, and then we went and played through the Portal games, and I was uh, playing through some other long-winded RPGs, so I didn't want to overload myself. So we're here, finally, now that I've freed up some time to revisit Half-Life. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I, just, I just can't wait to get into it. Uh, it, looks, it looks super cool. Um, just so you, when I have my headset on, we've got googly eyes here, so you can actually see the emotion in my face, and I think this will convey it really well, because uh, I'll be wearing a headset the whole time. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. This is going to be my first time doing a Let's Play in VR. I had to bust out my older webcam um, to get it in the right position, and I'm using my microphone in front of the desk, and hopefully everything picks up, and the volume's all good, and everything works out smoothly, because... I haven't done anything like this before, uh, so we'll just have to we we'll just have to see how how we go. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy the series. I'm super excited to revisit the world of Half Life in a virtual space. Uh, we're just going to have to see see how it all pans out. So I think we should um, strap ourselves in and start a new game and just and just get get into it. So let me just strap in. Oh, I've put on the... Hang on, this is good. I'm already blind, so I've just put on the wrong controller. You're going to have to bear with me on this one. But look at this environment in uh, in virtual reality. Like, this is... This is insane. So, f judging from the title alone, uh, this game's going to be about Alex in some way, shape, or form. Half-Life Alex. Look at the car. Turn around, you get a nice you get a nice little view of the city. Obviously, if I turn around and talk, you're probably not gonna be able to hear it, so I should probably avoid doing that. Can I Okay, let's just let's just get into it. Let's start a new game. Okay, so we're gonna go through our settings. Uh, difficulty normal, let's start with that. Uh, movement blink, movement shift, continuous, which will make me throw up. And continuous hand, which will make me throw up. We're going to go with shift. My weapon hand will be my right. Developer commentary will be for a replay, I'm sure. Let's start the game. Game slot, S0. Accept. Alright, it's time, everybody. <laughs> I'm so excited. Holy shit. Let's go. Press trigger to start. I have pressed it. A lot of white. Hello, Mr. Freeman. It is five years before the collapse of the Citadel and the death of Eli Vance. Ooh, it's five years before, okay. Alex Vance, age 19, female. Affiliation, human resistance. Current assignment, reconnaissance. Oh, we're playing as Alex. Okay, let's go. We're playing as Alex. And it's five years before Half-Life 2. Nice. Half-Life 1.5. Let's go. Woohoo! Dude, it's pounding in my ears! Holy shit! Oh my god! Yo, the Citadel is under construction! Pigeon! Oh my god! Look at them! Look at this place! Okay, let's stand up. Apparently I'm crouched already. Whoa! Oh, this is insane! And then I can snap turn and move. Whoa! <laughs> I just can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Like, I've played VR before, but... Holy crap! Can I... <laughs> Dude! You can pick things up... 
in different ways. It doesn't just have one grab. Can I open it? No, it doesn't have a thing. Dude. How many unique hand placements are there? Depending on where you grab it, it has a unique... Holy shit! It has a unique... Like, that's insane! Oh my god. You guys are gonna have to bear with me, because I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to get used to... I'm gonna have to get used to the space. Did that work? I swear I heard a noise. Can we... Eh. Eh. I don't think you can... I don't think you can get the insecticide to work. Is that a cat?! Okay, I need to I need to remember where I am in a, in a virtual space. I need to not get too close to uh, my desk. There's a cat down there! Can we get its attention? Cat! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> dude, what the fuck? You can- Dude, the cat reacted. Oh, dude, is that a... Alright. There's a CP down there. Desiccated sustenance bar. Water flavor, my favorite. We need to hit that guy on the head. Okay, he's too far away. Hold on. What is this? This is an iPad of the, fu of the future? This is certainly an iPad case. Okay, it's possible to make it over there. It's possible to make it over there. Okay, I need to throw those cans a bit faster. I need a... Oh, perfect. Can I hold things with two hands? Yes, I can. Ha! Oh, dude, I feel like that was so close. <laughs> I'm just throwing shit from the rooftop straight away. Oh, this is crazy. You can just... Oh, my God. All right, where am I? Hold on. I'm hitting stuff all over the place. You can pick up... Yo! And you can just take things out of it. Oh my god, that is insane! The ability to just like... That felt really close. The ability to just pick up singular things out of a group. I can't... I think it's going on the roof. I don't think I'm going to be able to get him. Ah, oh, I got it like, damn it, that, that's actually so close. I got it on the roof above him. There's even some dude like riding a bike in the distance. All right, I give up. I'm all out, I'm almost out of ammo. Yeah, I okay. I feel like we got close. <laughs> all right, let me, let me have a look around at what else we've got. All right, hang on. I need to remember, all right, where am I? I'm a bit blind. Alright, this is my desk. I'm gonna try and remember to um, snap turn instead of move in real life so I can stay focused with you guys. Whoa! Alright, hang on. First things first. Crouch. <laughs> oh my god! I kinda like the idea of crouching for in real life for... Dude! Can I use... Oh! Here we go. Oh! Here we go. What is this? Tune the radio. Dude, this is insane! The way that the hands actually move, my god. Yeah. Can of beans, baby. Holy crap, let's have a look over this railing. Far out! This is, this is absolutely insane. I can't even believe what I'm looking at right now. Look at the 
bubbles! Holy crap! Can I open it? <laughs> Shake it up, baby! No way. Just some lager. <laughs> Dude! This is amazing! Nice! So it responds to a certain level of pressure before it explodes. I hope you guys will forgive me for like, just really feeling like I need to just take this in for a moment. And just pick everything up. From here to there, in under a second, Dr. Isaac Kleiner, he wrote a book! Kleiner wrote a book. That's amazing. And it's true, because I can go from here to there. Instantly. Holy crap. Safety matches. Can I open it? I don't think I can. Ah, oh, you can hear the... <laughs> you can hear it in there. Oh my god. I don't think I can open it though. This is crazy. Dude, there's rotten apples in there. Ew. Ah, oh, throw the apple at the at the dude. That's right. There we go. Throw the apple at him. Oh my god! It actually rolled past his feet. All right, I'm gonna just say that I hit him. I'm gonna accept that. I'm gonna accept that as victory. I, I think we got him. Is my head a physical object? <gasps> it is! <laughs> I can wear it like a hat! Hang on, can I take it? How do I take it off? Um, I can't see shit now. Oh my... Uh, there we go. Dude, I can wear... You can wear buckets! I don't know the point of that. I can't see shit when I do that, but holy crap. Is there anything else to interact with out here? Oh my god! Geronimo, I'm a public menace. I'm just littering in this place. Okay, I think I have my bearings, which is good. And I've really taken in everything on this balcony. Look at that! Wow. Okay, let's move. Are we going up here? <laughs> Dude! A menace to pigeons everywhere. Okay. I'm in the wall. Dude. Incoming call from Eli Vance. Oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. That is disgusting in there. Alan! <laughs> It's good, Dad. Metrocop movement is normal. Same for the combine patrols. How's it going in the stockyard? <laughs> One combine mini reactor from a shipment of 4,000. They're never going to miss it. Here, see for yourself. <laughs> and not only that, someone's hacked into the combine construction network. Don't get greedy, guys. We're not made of time here. One minute and I'm out. Guaranteed. Oh, Russell. also, as part of the combine moving supplies into the quarantine zone, that place has been deserted for years. Hmm. That is odd. Uh, well, what is well, we'll look into it when we get back. What is this? Meet back at the safe house, baby. We'll be there soon. It looks like... What is it, Russell? Would you... Terrific. Huh. Dude! Eli's... Oh, that's so cool. I'm sad. I'm sad about Eli because of how Half-Life 2 ended. And I'm sorry if I keep hitting the microphone. I... Profusely apologize. I can't see it. Razor and pens. Can I actually... Oh. My. God. I love how I instinctively went to write with my right hand. By the way, here's some information. I'm left-handed, by the way. So, that's funny. 
And then I went to instinctively draw with my left. Oh, this is insane. It's so weird. Perfect! Dude, okay. Um. Um. Hmm. Oh, good. That's not what I wanted, but that's fine. Let's, let's draw something. I can't believe that this is a real thing in this game. I can actually draw. <laughs> this is so funny. Should we draw that, what is it, that Half-Life 2 symbol? Oh, I've lost my pen. Does this work as well? Oh my god, look at that. I can't believe this. This is a, uh, like just mind blowing. All right. Door open. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> like uh, the VR stuff that I've played has been very basic. I haven't played a proper VR like game especially on like a scale like this like this is just insane i've played just like ch innocent cheap little things on vr to get used to it um but this is this is something else entirely this is insane okay i don't have the biggest space to move around in ever Cool. I don't have the biggest space to move around in, um, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. I'll try and see if I can remain <laughs> in in view, in focus, while I take this in. Uh, again, you're gonna have to bear with me while I try and find my my bearings and and get used to this, because this is incredible. Um, and also the, the tele, the teleport movement helps so much. Um, as soon as there's like a smooth movement and my body's not actually moving, I want to, I want to throw up like immediately. So. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Holy crap. It's so cool to see them putting together the city. I almost missed that because I was too busy doing this. Amazing. It's a good thing it was very loud. <laughs> I should have thrown a bucket at it. Dude, look at these environments. They're so dense. Whoa! Oh my god, it's one of you! Look at that little guy! You've slaughtered so many of my friends by accident. Oh my god. Is this, uh... Hang on. Is this food for you? It's got holes in the top. <laughs> it is food! You can feed him! It's fish food! Can a 
essentially. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. You hungry little guy? Oh my god. Coffee. Am I am I giving you coffee? Is that a mistake? Here, have a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Oh my god. Egg flavor. There's 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 different flavors. All right. You're not just relegated to only. Um, you don't need just water flavor. I did not just kill him, did I? Oh no, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's in a food coma, right? He's breathing. I just thought that I accidentally killed him. Holy crap. He's just gone into a food coma. That's fine. I just almost panicked. Uh, I'm trying to reach. There we go. Dude. Oh, he's awake! I can't draw on the glass, that's okay. okay. Yes! <laughs> this is so great. So everything is pointing to... Russia... Which is kind of where, you know, because obviously Half-Life 2 is set in a very, uh, like, European, uh, has like a, 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 a very much of a sort of Russian aesthetic. They, they question marks and trying to guess what's going on in the whole world. America is gone. See you later. What about Australia? Where's Australia at? I know where we are on the map. I'm over here. I'm a, we're a question mark. Half-Life Australia. We don't know how we're doing. Dude, everything is just so good to look at. I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. What am I doing here? Hang on. What are we looking at? One of those structures? Alright, hold on. I'm trying not to... <clears throat> This is great. So cool. Just our little stealth hole. Is this, so is this Alex's? Is this Alex's place? Ow. Okay, I need, I can't, I have limited, I have limited reaching room, so you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to forgive me on that one. Can I, I can't take the VHS out. Look at the dust in the air and everything as well. Oh, it's sketches for dog. That's dog's face. Yes! The little love heart. These are plans for dog. Amazing. That's so good. Okay. So this is Alex's apartment. I'm in love. It's just the aesthetic of this place is amazing. This is so good. Ow. Ugh, I accidentally glitched myself into the wall. Hold on. Ow. I can't take the... <laughs> I can't take the jacket off, but I can... I can wiggle it around. Okay. That's fine. Fair enough. I think I can... What's going on here? I'm glimpsing a little bit of my... My green screen. Isn't... An, that's an annoying little... Uh, that's an annoying little thing in there. Let me fix that for you. All right. 
we fixed up. That was just the uh, edge of the green screen that I needed to make sure was not visible. There we go. Yeah, nice. Dude, the texture work looks amazing. I can't, I can't get over this. Oh my god, there's people! Alex! Alright, let me go over to you. Alex, are we good? Yep, they got the reactor. Easy peasy. I'm headed back to the safe house right now to meet Dad. Go! We'll be in touch. Stay safe. Oh my god. <laughs> this is incredible. Do not spin, just fills with water. I'm just seeing what I can what I can and can't interact with. Taps are all broken. Can't use the taps. Ain't no water in this place. Just a message for you guys. The Ten Commandments of the Laundry Room. Hold on, let me stand back. <clears throat> Don't leave your clothes unattended. Don't leave clean clothes in the machine. Don't leave lint in the lint trap. Don't attempt to reserve a machine. Don't touch clothes that aren't yours. Don't leave empty detergent bottles or boxes. Do not bring pets to the laundry room. Respect the space. Respect the laundry machines. Respect your fellow launderers. 11. Don't overfill the fabric softener. Thank you, sign the management. There's an 11th commandment. It's a bonus one. This is nuts. I gotta say, the, the, the graphics have completely fucking blown me away. Pigeon. No! <laughs> Get over here. What is it? This doesn't seem like a routine sweep. Are you sure everything went okay? 100%. Something's got the CPs riled up. Keep your head down and be smart. I love the detail of like the pins on her jacket. That's so cool. That looks awesome. I was trying to see if I could glimpse the pins, but it's like the qu the, the quality of the, the headset obviously is not going to be... It's not like 4K, so I can't see every little minor detail. Hang on. I want to be a menace to society today. Oh, it just goes right through them. Does that mean if we were going to throw it at the the dude when we were up on the balcony it wouldn't have even hit him in the first place god damn ah 
sneak up on the bird. Try to see how physics work in this game. Or, because Half-Life is all about amazing physics in their games. Oh! Damn it! Oh! Oh! Okay. Half-Life is all about ridiculously amazing physics. Blowing your mind. Okay. I'm out. I can get some more plates. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Can't get it to work. Dude, they sound exactly the same as they used to. It's amazing. I think Alex has a different voice actor. Or maybe it's the same voice actor, but it's just been, you know, a million years since a new game came out. But she sounds a little bit different. It's so crazy to see City... Like, I believe we're, we're, this is City 17, yeah. It's crazy to see City 17 in VR. Like, with this level of detail. Like, this is insane. I'm very pleased. Damn it! I wanted to use the phone. Ugh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at the terminal. Oh, okay. The terminal! Stop. Okay, there we go. Unlikely negotiator of peace garners ill will and distrust as well as praise. Wallace Breen acknowledges detractors. I'm not a politician, I'm a scientist. There he is! Portal storm continues. Right, hold on a sec. It's so hard to read the text. The news worldwide. State of the market, not good. An astronomical downturn. Historic bubble bursts upon Earth's sudden surrender to the Combine. Reality defined. Precision designed. Your drive refined. Your day divine. Amazing. Scientists remain unable to, to offer any solution to the ongoing portal storm that has devastated cities worldwide. Nor are there any clues to determining how to predict when new portals will appear. I will, I'm trying to read, but I will say, like, it's not super clear on my screen. I can read the big text, but not the small text so much. Uh, so I can only make out some of it, but it, uh, it's, it's hard to do so. Oh my god! I can actually do that! Holy crap, can I get in? Oh, I'm trying to see if I can wind up the window. Yeah, let me stand back. Nice. This is cool. Nice. Just checking it out. Can I get over there? <laughs> I'm wondering if there's like a way for me to like pop the bonnet <laughs> and we can like look in it. I don't think I can get get it any other way. Ah, this is where we go.
Hello? I saw you in there! I saw you in there! Dude, the detail on, like, everything. Hey oh, One of these days I'm gonna catch one of you pigeons. There was a tutorial pop-up, but, uh, we missed it. I will summon pigeons via this bread. Look at Alex's strength. She's able to pick up a chair like that. Oh, there's the pop-up. There we go. Grab ladder to climb up. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this is so... I feel like... Oh, this is awful. Oh, I hate this. Oh, that feels really weird. Oh, that feels really fucking weird. I did not like that one bit. <laughs> Holy shit! All right, I don't like climbing ladders. That is uh, that is awful. That was terrible. That made me want to fall over. God damn! Oh, cool. We're going over there. Obviously you guys know that like once we find our groove, we find our footing and everything stops being absolutely mind-blowingly amazing to me in a virtual space, things will smoothen out a little bit more. So thank you for bearing with me while I figure this out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm having the time of my life! Alright. This is... I need to stand like as far back as possible because I keep smacking the desk. Oh my god. All right, let's jump down. Oh, what the, f what the fuck? my instinct reaction would be like, shut the door, shut the door. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The game looks so good. It looks insane. Oh. How we feeling? How we doing? We all good? Everything looks great. Oh my god. This is incredible. Entanglement. Where are you taking me? Where's my father, you son of a bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Insubordinate relocation unit. Damn it, where's my father? I'm hey! Don't stop moving around back there. Oh, shit. Whoa. God. What the fuck? Oh my god, look at his leg! Um... What am I pressing? Am I... You have been in an accident. Fuck! The headset. What the fuck? 
Alex, you there? You've, you've got to get moving. Russell, I've been in an accident. I know! I caused it! So technically, not an accident. You've got to get moving. Wait, wait, where's Dad? He's fine. Follow the drone. <laughs> I need to align myself again. Hold on. So, Dad's okay, right? Yeah. Well, no. To be honest, he's in huge trouble. But... They've still got him. He was in a separate transport. And you saved me? Well, yes. I had no way of knowing who was in which van. So, yes, the result was that I saved you. Do we know where they're taking him? Criminal holding. And then, when they realize he's Eli Vance, to Nova Prospect, but I'm already working on a plan to get him back. You're close to my lab. Keep following the drone. We'll figure out what to do. They said Nova Prospect. They said the thing. Oops. Well, not that over. Oops. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, well, I ride this bike in virtual reality. There we go. All right. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Actually, hang on. Can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> you can. Uh, no, this is the physics of this is incredible. Uh, hold on. Let me stand next to it. Oh, this is so wild. That's insane. <laughs> Crazy, dude. Alright, where's that drone at? Because I've gotten sidetracked. Damn it. Okay. Good enough. Respect your surroundings. Everything looks amazing, dude. Follow the drone. Russell, what did you guys find back there? Well, that's the crazy thing. I don't know. Just blurry pictures of a, a building. The Citadel? No, nah, something else. And whatever it is, they're going to kill anybody who saw it. And anybody who knows anybody who saw it. Which means us and your dad. Russell, just hang on. I'm almost there. <laughs> the propaganda, though. Need more oomph. Need more oomph in my throws. doesn't want to react. Can we actually use them? Oh, I was wondering if I could use the trigger and it would like... with everything. <laughs> oh my god, it's okay, this is awful. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, it's too high up. How do I get this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is awful, dude. back except all of them are here now one was missing in half-life 2 I can't spin it like crazy there we go <laughs> amazing dude holy crap what a lovely playground we have here how dare you not go down? Zero out of ten, I'm getting a refund. Oh, hang on. Nope, the game explained itself, it's it's fine. Big rock. <laughs> it's back to being a ten out of ten. <laughs> Big rock makes sense. Alright. Oh god, I have to do this again, don't I? Alright. Oh man. Uh, ah! That was my friend, you asshole! Oh my god. Alex, everything cut out for a second. I lost the instant video feed. Can you see my drone? Is it okay? Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, yep, it's definitely intact. Um, I am the drone now. God damn. Um, here, I'll bring this guy, I'll bring a piece of him back for you if you want. Holy crap. Right, I think we're going over there. Dude, look at the lighting. It's so enticing, I want to go in there. I want to know what's in there. Oh god, I've gone into the wall. Yeah. Ugh. This is so crazy. Yo, okay. Oh, oh just the whole thing. Oh, there we go. I don't think the phone is connected, however. Yeah. Hello. Okay. I didn't touch anything. We've got some lovely music playing. There's a big ass camera. AHS. Instead of VHS, because it's probably copyrighted to even call it a VHS. Look at these chairs. Hmm. Not very comfortable. Ow! I promise that I'll get used to not hitting the microphone, guys. I'm sorry for your ears. this do? What does the big red button do? Alex, great. <gasps> hey, let's... Wait, my drone's okay, right? Nope, it exploded. No. I'm fine, by the way. Right, good, let's see. That's the main. Secret lab, let's go! <laughs> Catch. Russell. They've got Dad. I know. This... this is bad. They're gonna find out what he knows and then... Yeah, they, they're gonna kill him. Oh, God. But... Uh, the good news is... We've got something they don't. Which is? My plan to get him back. Great. Let's hear it. 
Now, pretty soon they're going to realise that your dad is not going to talk. And when that happens, he's off to have his brain sucked. Brain sucked. Potentially. Uh, maybe not, though. I mean, they could just drill into his... Oh, yeah, still your dad. Right, well, what they will do is take him by train from here. This is Eli to Nova Prospect. And if he gets on that train, that's it, right? Not necessarily. Grab something that represents us. Fork. Okay, that's you. I thought you said us. Well, one of us, me, will have to stay here for this plan to work. All right. Fair enough. Just outside, there's a second train that also leads out of City 17 through the quarantine zone. Okay. Both trains intersect here at Fairview Junction. You take your train, get there before his train, and hack into the controls. That'll let me take over the system. Train comes to a halt, you deal with the combine situation, and we get your dad back. Sounds good. Where's the train I'm taking? Out the back, through the yard. It's decommissioned, but I think I can hack into its controls. Oh, and get yourself a pair of Russells on the way out. Russells? The gloves, Alex. You know, the gravity gloves. I have a few sets through there. You can calibrate them out by the shed. Got it. We can do this, Alex. You got that, didn't you, that I said we could do it? Because we're going to do it. Yeah, we are. I'm with you every step of the way. We're going to do it, man. So this is Russell. Russell's a new character. Really useful something something electronic lightweight levitating S. Ah, gravity gloves. Okay, Russell's computer, the screensaver. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be really strange, right? This is gonna be odd. But gravity gloves. I know about the gravity gloves because of Death Stranding, but I'm just realizing that that's what the gravity gloves are for. For some reason, I just was like, oh yeah, the gravity gloves in Death Stranding are just cool. Uh, a cool technological thing in Death Stranding. I know I was aware of there being a Half-Life slash Portal crossover, like with Valve, like there was the companion cubes, and you get like a head crab ornament. You get like some Half-Life things, and then I just totally didn't make the connection about the gravity gloves. I just thought it was like, yeah, that's actually really cool. So the gravity gloves I've seen before in Death Stranding. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm aware of the things, so that's really cool. So we're about to actually see them um, properly uh, with, like, what they're actually, you know, uh, their actual origin. Uh, but with that one, guys, we're going to bring this first episode of Half-Life Alex to a close. I don't want to play uh, too much of it in sequence because uh, dis it's quite disorienting and, and overwhelming, so I don't want to make myself super dizzy and, and sick. So I'm going to bring this episode to a close. I'll try and find some natural ending points around episodes th uh, this length to see how we go. But this was the first episode of Half-Life Alex, so I genuinely hope that you have enjoyed going through this one. It's taken a bit of time. I'm just getting used to everything and being very excited because it's it's like holding things in your hand and actually interacting with it is spectacular. It's, it's so much fun. Um, it's, it's crazy how much it actually like feels so realistic. The way that you can grab onto things in multiple different ways and how things break and interact with each other and just navigating like the world of Half-Life again in virtual reality and like on this level of fidelity as well, like it looks gorgeous. I can't wait to keep playing. So thank you so, so much for watching this first episode of Half-Life Alex, uh, I definitely, definitely appreciate it if uh, you haven't already, if you wanted to subscribe and to follow along with other playthroughs that I've played on the channel and um, join the community, I'd really appreciate it. So thank you so much for joining me for episode one. I'll see you next time.